Hey guys, it's Tuesday, February 21st, uh, 2023. Today's going to be a six count session. Um, I've been going back and forth on how I want to approach it today. Uh, I feel that I'm basically at the end of this training block. Uh, I got what I wanted to last session. Uh, it was eight minutes at 13 reps a minute. I didn't do any 12s. I went straight into 11s and held that until the last minute when I got another 13. Um, my all-time best, which was two or three blocks ago, uh, was nine minutes straight through. And uh, my best overall count is 244. Um, now last training block, I didn't hit 240 at all which was, seemed unusual as I had been hitting that fairly regularly. This training block, um, I hit it uh, twice. I did a 240, maybe three times. I think I did 240 twice and I hit 241 once. <coughs> so not too far from my best. Um, I'm feeling off. My, um, for whatever reason, yesterday was sort of a weird session with Navy SEALs. Um, I hit a emotional stumbling block uh, three minutes in. I did manage to recover, um, but it, it's got me feeling shaky in my approach. So I started thinking of an easy day doing. Uh, I drew some inspiration from Paul Morgan, his 22 down. Um, and then I started thinking of a suggestion Max gave me a while back on um, sets of 25. And I thought, you know what, I'm just, for me right now, that's all tricks of the mind, which is sometimes good, but um, I'm just gonna approach today as a mental health day. I'm gonna go for 13 reps a minute, sticking with the plan, but I'm letting myself off the hook. Um, if it's only two or three minutes in and I'm not feeling it, I give myself permission to drop to 12 early and hold that drop to 11 and all that. And if need be today, I'll even drop down to 10 and just get my 20 minutes. Um, I'm regrouping on my Navy SEALs starting tomorrow. <coughs> um, I'm not going to play with the sevens as much as I have been. Uh, I'm going to go down to sixes. Um, I still throw them in occasionally, but especially on my last minute. But I think I need a few solid uh, training sessions, even a block or maybe two of hitting the sixes on a regular basis. All right, talking a lot. And that can only mean that I'm stalling. If I'm stalling, it's time to hit the go button. <coughs> 50 seconds on the countdown. The plan here, again, 13 reps, but I'm taking time to stabilize my breathing to make sure <clears throat> I'm not close to run lining just yet not too early I mean yesterday I felt like I was run lining uh, three minutes into my 20 minute session so I had to take a minute to uh, regroup I only hit three reps for that minute I was able to bounce back um, <clears throat> Restabilize myself with fives. Ten seconds. Head in the game. Nice and relaxed. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. One. One, two, three, four, five. Two. One, two, three, four, five. Three. One, two, three, four, five, four. One, two, three, four, five, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, seven. One, two, three, four, five, eight. One, two, three, four, five, nine. One, two, three, four, five. Ten. One, two, three, four, five, eleven. One, two, three, four, 
five, 12, four, two, three, four, five, 13, four, two, three, four, five, one, four, two, three, four, five, two, four, two, three, four, five, three, four, two, three, four, five, four, four, two, three, four, five, five, four, two, three, four, five, six, four, two, three, four, five, seven, one, two, three, four, five, eight, one, two, three, four, five, nine, one, two, three, four, five, ten, one, two, three, four, five, eleven, one, two, three, four, five, twelve, one, two, three, four, five, thirteen, one, two, three, four, five, one, one, two, three, four, five, two, one, two, three, four, five, three, one, two, three, four, five, four, one, two, three, four, five, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, seven, one, two, three, four, five, eight, one, two, three, four, five, nine, one, two, three, four, five, ten, one, two, three, four, five, eleven, one, two, three, four, five, twelve, one, two, three, four, five, thirteen, one, two, three, four, five, one, one, two, three, four, five, two, one, two, three, four, five, three, one, two, three, four, five, four, one, two, three, four, five, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, seven, one, two, three, four, five, eight, one, two, three, four, five, nine, one, two, three, four, five, ten, one, two, three, four, five, eleven, one, two, three, four, five, twelve, one, two, three, four, five, Thirteen. One, two, three, four, five. One. One, two, three, four, five. Two. One, two, three, four, five. Three. One, two, three, four, five. Four. One, two, three, four, five. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Six. One, two, three, four, five, seven, one, two, three, four, five, eight, one, two, three, four, five, nine, one, two, three, four, five, ten, one, two, three, four, five, eleven.
seven. One, two, three, four, five, eight. One, two, three, four, five, nine. One, two, three, four, five, ten. One, two, three, four, five, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, one. I believe. Well, maybe. Um, not here, I think 237. We got four straight and across. I believe I got three minute um, sixes. Uh, I'm sorry, of a uh, 13s. Which would, excuse me, guys. Piece of dust, piece of chalk, I think. Um, <coughs> so, yeah, actually, 40. Thirty-five, I think. 
because they got four minutes. <coughs> then an additional um, 13 in the second minute. Or in the second five minute block. I think two 13s there. I know, th I know three 13s total. So, 34. Two, thirty-four, and then the twelve to finish. Yeah, two thirty-five. <coughs> I was worn out. Four minutes in, I could have pushed for the other block, <coughs> um, but I knew I was close to feeling like I don't want to feel that early in the set. Um, at the end of a training block, uh, my body is just tired. Time to regroup. Maybe the easy strength is sapping me a bit more than I anticipated. <coughs> Regardless, it'll even out eventually. Um, I will view this six count training block as a success, even though I didn't hit the yard. Um, I was one minute under my best um, at 13 reps a minute straight through. The session before, I had only made it to seven minutes. So I was one above, and I felt pretty good with it. Um, my training block before this, I also didn't hit 240 at all. And again, I hit 243 times this session. some heavier reps, or reps, heavier weight with the pull-ups. sets of one interspaced with my um, presses of the day. <coughs> I don't know how many presses I'm going to do. My is one for my pull-ups and maybe 10 sets, maybe not. I don't know. And then I'll keep my presses probably on the easy side. Um, maybe just one or two with them as well. And I'll work back and forth for a bit. And then I'll throw in my goblet squats. Finish off with some swings. They presses with a 16th and a two sets of five. I was pretty happy with that.
I'm not really keeping track of the rest breaks too much, at least not right now. So I'm not really pushing the reps. So three. Yeah, I think I needed that uh, little bit of a back off mentally. Um, the thought of uh, pushing 13s today just felt um, off. Like it wasn't the right time to do it. It was not an auspicious occasion for pushing for reps. Last set of threes. sets of three. Now, technically I have room to do one more rep on my presses. Again, the rule of thumb here with easy strength is um, no more than 10 reps per session each movement. Got four for my books. I 
I don't know if I'm going to do 10 reps with pull-ups or not. I just figured I'd work steadily through um, as I do my presses and my goblet squats, possibly even my swings. All right. I'm going to do a graduation weight. It's been a while since I've done that. Well, I guess doing the 16 was graduation. Um, I really should consider this free graduation. It's always, always supposed to get to start to regain some lost strength. Strength that you lose through, not through neglect, but um, you lose because you've been doing other things. Uh, ultra running sapped a lot of strength for me, a lot of muscle. It gave me a lot of benefits. Um, things that I, you know, I wouldn't trade or trade back. But now that the ultra running is on the back side of things right now, um, it's time to regain some strength. This is the 18 kilogram, um, which I think is 38 or 39 pounds. It's not heavy, but it's heavier than the 16. I'm going to finish off my five pull-ups. Or finish off the first five, and then go into my, hopefully one on one, on my presses. Yeah, there we go. Five so far. Key to pressing is know when to stay tight. Glutes, abs, you want to create that virtual weight that can go. probably see my left side lagging just a bit. It has been slightly problematic for a number of years. I heard it years ago benching um, and then aggravated it through various other maneuvers. Three reps six. could use that. However, last time I used the 16, I forgot to put it back and I had the traveling mat syndrome on my uh, burpee set. So it's easier to pick one up and carry it over.
set seven. So it's a five. Sixteen. Weight wise on the Galvez squat, I'm not too concerned about it. It's a mobility, less of a strength movement, more for the mobility of it, for the core work it provides, for the stability, for the um, contraction. In the upper body. Set eight. One more set of pull-ups, and then um, my swings, and then finish off with one last set of pull-ups for 10 reps. I wasn't sure I was going to work all the way up to 10, just time-wise, stuff like that, but I'm close enough that I may as well do it. So the swings, at least 10 reps. This is 24. Um, first time with it in quite some time, probably well over a year. I was doing my one arm long cycle with my 24s. Um, just over a year ago. I stopped doing one arm long cycle in uh, December of 2021 because I wanted to concentrate on the burpee. So I was mixing the two together. Um, I wasn't having a great time with the one arm long cycles any longer. I felt burned out after doing them for well over a year. Um, I had pushed pretty hard on them. It was time for change and I was really enjoying the burpees. I'm still enjoying the burpees, although today and yesterday I did feel a little burned out. Not from the movement, just from um, pushing myself on a daily basis. This is well over day 400 of daily burpees and um, pushing pretty hard uh, every day. 
not all out every day, but pretty hard. All right, 10 with the 24. Try my grip. <laughs> I did 12 reps <laughs> mainly because that first rep, getting used to the first few reps, getting used to the weight, um, threw me off just a little bit, so I, I felt better as the reps progressed. So I thought 12 reps would make up for the first two being a little, not shaky, but my lower back felt a little twingy. Last rep, last set. Done for the day. It was kind of fun doing singles. Getting some uh, a little heavier weight, something different. All right, let's get this a little closer. discovered a new word yesterday, a new expression. Um, it seems Germans have great expressions that contain so much um, in one word. Of course, their words have 29 letters um, or so, it seems. Some of them do. Um, and a lot of the uh, Scandinavian countries as well have incredible phrases that just, um, to me, they contain uh, sort of an essence. I've read years and years ago that certain languages um, contain the uh, vibratory um, equivalent of the thing itself. If you say apple, if you say tree in Sanskrit, Sanskrit being a mother language, um, it actually, the vibration itself of saying that contains the very essence of a tree, the very essence of an apple. You are uh, evoking the essence through the vibration of the word, uh, through the sound itself. Uh, that the sound is the thing. Um, I believe Latin is another mother language like that, uh, as well as many uh, native languages throughout the world, um, uh, Hebrew as well is another. But the word, the German word that I read the other day, I wrote about it um, this morning in my blog, is um welt, um welt, U-M-W-E-L-T, if I'm remembering it correctly. And it translates in essence to experience, the experience of a organism, my experience, your experience, and how they can't be the same. I live in um, mentally, emotionally, in a completely different world than you. Um, and further, as a species, we live completely different than a dog. They have, they are privy to information through um, sent through uh, keener ears than we are. They um, experience things, those things at a much, much deeper level than we can. Because not only 
they, they smell things and hear things that we can't, but they process it in a deeper way than we can. It has a, a different meaning. Um, and so it's interspecies, uh, it's each person. There's an uh, un, umwelt, an experiential world that we each have. Not only that, but even ourselves and perhaps even our molecules, maybe even atoms and particles, all have a umwelt of their own, a completely different world of perspective and experience. However, it's also seamless, which is pretty amazing. That my world, as separate as it is because of the my lifetime experiences, because of how I see things, because of how I perceive the world, because of having a different um, visual effect, because I hear things differently than people, because I say things differently than people, same with you. Um, it creates that world of perception that we're almost trapped in. And then we're dismayed that others don't experience the world the way we do. Um, and that creates a lot of friction between us. However, um, if we realize that these are worlds within worlds within worlds, infinitely so, um, that it's just the same as a cell containing molecules, containing atoms, containing particles, containing vibrations, containing whatever, nothing, nothingness. And our world is illusory, Maya. Um, doesn't mean not real. It just means that I've created this because of my, um, my perception. I've created this because of my um, unwelt. And it's mine, but that doesn't make it real. It's yours, but that doesn't make it real. If we realize that we're living in that illusory world, and it's a certain sense, it starts the borders between us start to melt. Um, also, we can see that in the things that we do, that I created an illusory situation for burpees. Um, however, as I started moving, that began to soften. I saw opportunities to do 13 reps when before I was only thinking about 11. Um, it's just a means of holding everything a little more lightly than we normally do. I think that really through meditation we can get there, through Tai Chi, slow moving we can get there, through uh, miles, running, walking, great distances, being out in nature we all get there, working with the breath or allowing the breath to work through us uh, get us there. Burpees can get us there. Pull-ups have done with the right frame, not even frame of mind, but the, not even attitude. Um, just letting go of attitude and frame of mind and just doing pull-ups for the sake of pull-ups. All of that can get us there. All of that can make us see that there is a unwelt, a world of our experience, of our thoughts, but it's illusory and that it is also open to the world of others. And in that way we come together. So we create a whole nother world when we come together that way. So again, it's worlds within worlds, infinitely so. All right, guys, with that, I'm gonna let everyone go. Um, it was an interesting day, a good day. Um, I'm ready to reboot and see what I can do and another, uh, another upcoming buck. Thanks for watching, take care.